Today I'm going to give you guys 5 reasons why you should invest your precious legendary commander sculptures into the latest and the greatest infantry commander Liu Che. Reason number 1, he is the perfect low investment commander. His first two skills are insanely powerful, meaning that a 5511 Liu Che will serve you quite well. And it takes only 190 sculptures, so even if you are a casual free to play, you shouldn't have very hard time getting him to that stage. Once he's at 5-5, you can simply unlock his last two skills and just keep investing on him. Ideally, you want the fourth skill max just to get that normal damage bonus extra 10%, but his third skill is also really, really solid. So you cannot go wrong after 5-5-1-1. And once you have enough sculptures, then you can finally unlock his expertise. So it's going to be a very smooth upgrading experience. You don't need to do any skill shenanigans with him. Just get him to 5-5-1-1, unlock last two skills, and keep investing your sculptures. So he is a great fit for every budget. Reason number two, obviously his massive AoE. All other infantry commanders with AoE skills can hit maximum of three targets. But Liu Che, he is the only infantry commander who does have a five target AoE skill. Yes, the downside of high number of target AoE skills is that 15% damage reduction per each additional target. But if you guys don't know, there is actually a cap to it. Years ago, Wick Gaming published this video, he did a bunch of tests and the test results were quite consistent. Normally, what should have happened is if you hit 5 targets with your AoE, the damage should be reduced all the way down to 40% because it says 15% damage reduction per each additional target. You have the target that you are attacking and there are 4 more additional targets, leaving you with only 40% of your total damage. But that wasn't the case. In every single test, maximum reduction of the damage when hitting 5 targets was 50% in total. This brings us to the conclusion of 15% damage reduction thing has a cap at total of 50%. So yes, even though the damage that you are dealing is getting reduced, 5 target AoE in fact is still insanely powerful. Reason number 3, smite them. At first glance, you may not realize how powerful this wording is. The power of the smite damage lies within the talents and skills of the commanders that you are fighting against. Imagine a scenario where you are fighting with, let's say, Saladin and William. Would you rather deal skill damage or smite damage? Well, of course you prefer to deal smite damage because Saladin has a massive skill damage taken reduction. Or in talent trees, we have quite a few talents that provide commander skill damage taken reduction. However, none of those skills or talents can reduce the damage that is coming from smite damage. Meaning that when your active skill deals smite damage rather than skill, you will deal way more to the most of the commanders in the game. Reason number four is how well he pairs with Prime CPO. Yes, there will be players who are going to pair him with Gorgo, Sargon, etc. But in my opinion, if you already have Prime CPO in your arsenal, I think CPO primary, Liu Che secondary, is just the perfect infantry pairing. Because when you pair them together, you have two AoEs, and the crucial part here is that AoE damage of CPO will apply a massive health debuff to the targets, and then your Liu Che will hit like a truck to those targets who have 30% reduced HP. Another reason why CPO is the perfect primary for Liu Che is CPO's talent tree. If you pair Liu Che with a commander who has, let's say, skill talent tree, some of the talents will be wasted because Liu Che doesn't deal skill damage, he deals smite damage. Talents like Clarity or Tactical Mastery will have zero benefits for Liu Che. But if you use a commander with support talent tree, literally no talents will be wasted. It will provide great rage regen and tankiness to your march. The only downside of pairing CPO with Liu Che is CPO's expertise. 10% skill damage increase won't help the damage coming up from Liu Che, and 30% rage gain speed works really well when you pair CPO with Guan Yu. However, for this rage gain speed to work, you don't need to necessarily be using Guan Yu yourself. As long as the target that you are hitting is silenced, you will benefit from the skill and indeed gain your rage 30% faster. And there are many Guan Yus on the field pretty much almost all the time, so this is not going to be an issue. Last but not least, reason number 5, Liu Che's expertise. Now you could say that, I mean, okay, like one extra attack with a 25% chance is just decent. But one extra normal attack is actually massive, especially if you pair Liu Che with CPO. Because both commanders do have a skill that gets triggered with normal attacks. The second part of the third skill of Liu Che, whenever their troop launches a basic attack, it has a 25% chance to deal extra smite damage to the target. 
And again, the third skill of CPO, whenever their troops launches a basic attack, it has a 10% chance to deal additional damage to the target every second for 3 seconds. So yes, that one extra basic attack can actually be insanely powerful. Now, there is one thing that I want to discuss, which is, does this one extra attack helps you to gain rage faster or not? There are some different opinions about that. Some people on YouTube say that it doesn't actually affect the rage gain, but also some people from Rise of Kingdoms Reddit says that it definitely does. They tested it and it does affect the rage gain. I haven't tested it myself, but I will before I expertise Liu Che 100%. So in my opinion, this skill is super strong and definitely an expertise skill that is worth unlocking. And in case if I couldn't convince you to invest on Liu Che, there we go. I'm going to get my Liu Che to 5511 right here, right now. Right, it's done. Now he's ready to be tested. What I'm going to do is in one of our future videos, I'm going to test expertise Guan with CPO secondary versus CPO primary and 5511 Liu Che secondary to compare if Liu Che is going to perform better, worse, or pretty even, I have high hopes, but we will see. So let me know if you guys do plan to invest on Liu Che, or maybe you already did. In that case, tell us in the comment section down below what is the current status of your Liu Che and what are your future plans with him. Subscribe for more Rise of Kingdoms content, and here is another ROK video for you. Thank you, and I see you there.